Hey people, how are you? Edward Wright here. And I specialize in teaching music theory to singers and musicians alike. I thoroughly enjoy it. And so welcome to the channel. Do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, so uh, this video, we're going to still, going to stick with that major seven. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on the D flat major seven and just uh, uh, walk down the whole steps. That's it. All right, uh, to make sure that we have a good solid understanding of what's going on so that, well, um, we can play it and know what we're doing. All right, all right, come on, let's get it in. So we're gonna start with that D flat major seven chord here. Now again, I'm doing this with my left hand um, just as a, a challenge and a workout for me. Uh, it may not necessarily be for you, which is cool. But you should definitely still, you know, rock out with it. All right. So that D flat major seven chord. You see that? One, three, five, seven. We know the formula for the major seven chord is one, three, five, seven. One, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. One, three, five, seven. Let's do it again. One, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. D flat major seven, D flat major seven, hey. D flat major seven, D flat major seven, hey. D flat major seven, D flat major seven, hey, hey. D flat major seven, D flat major seven, hey, come on. D flat major seven, D flat major seven. Are you playing along with me uh, so that you can get this in your fingers? Why? Because reputation is our friend. We're bouncing on that D flat major seven, D flat major seven. Hey, D flat major seven, D flat major seven. One, three, five, seven of D flat. We have the one, we have the two, we have the three, we have the four, we have the five, we have the six, whole step seven, half step eight. But one, three, five, seven. All right? I believe you have it. If you don't have it, it's your fault. If you don't have it, but you should have it, all right? The D flat major seven. Now let's go down a whole step to that B major seven. Now we do the same thing. One, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. B major seven. All right, let's do that again. One, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. The B major seven. The B major seven. Got that? It's extremely important that we really have it. All right? That's that B major seven. So let's go ahead and knock that out uh, several several times. One, two, three. B major seven. 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 Hold it out. B major seven. B major seven. Hey. B major seven. B major seven. Now, why are we doing this? Because we are building up our left hand finger strength uh, as it relates to chording. All right? And our ear with that major seven chord. Bye. You hear that major seven on top of it? So that you can, when you hear this chord, you can recognize it. Oh, major seven. You know what I mean? Two, uh, two more times and one, two, three, last measure, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's the B major seven chord. All right, now let's go down another whole step to what? A major seven chord. All right, so we have one, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. That's the A major seven chord. So this would be A is the one, B is the two, C sharp is the three, D is the four, E is the five, F sharp is the six, G sharp is the seven. Okay. Um, I know, well, I just have the MIDI in C, but the proper names of A would be A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. And the reason for that is because remember, remember all of the music, all of the notes of the musical alphabet have to be represented. So I'm going to actually break that down. Let me change that to the key of A. Now, do you see, once I change the key signature to the key of A, it changed the names. So we want to make sure that, you know, that we're using the proper names because um, you don't have any flats in A. And because every letter of the musical alphabet has to be represented. So you have, you're going to say A, B, C. So that's why it's not going to be D flat. D, E, 
F sharp, G sharp. Okay? Did that D show up? It did show up. All right? So as you can see. Matter of fact, let me play. You see that? You see how every letter of the music alphabet is represented? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do you see that? All right? So know that when you're talking about a key, every letter of the musical alphabet has to be represented. All right? Now let's go back to the A major 7. Bam! Now let's count it out again. 1, whole step 2, whole step 3, half step 4, whole step 5, whole step 6, whole step 7, A major 7 chord. It's right here. There it is. You see it? Now let's go ahead and bounce that out. 10 quarter notes. 1, 2, 3, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Five more times. Let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh. And there we have it. That is the A major 7 chord. All right. Now let's keep on going. Let's go down a whole step from A. Now if we go down a whole step from A, what is that? A down a whole step. G, you got it. Let's do that G major seven. We have one, whole step two, whole step three, half step four, whole step five, whole step six, whole step seven. Okay? Now, why is this F sharp? Because every letter of the alphabet has to be represented. So we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, F sharp. Okay? You see that? Do you see how every letter of the musical alphabet is represented in order? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do you see this, ladies and gentlemen? This is why I say that theory is not hard and that all of us should know it, especially those of us who play. Huh? Especially those of us who sing. Huh? Come on, learn it. All right, now let's keep on going. So we have that G major seven chord, that G major seven chord. Now let's go ahead and hammer that one out a good 15 times. One, two, three, let's go. And 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, now let's, let's do it another time, all right? Uh, let's do it five more times, like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, let's go, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, now, understand this, because I have counted, uh, I believe that you have it. If you don't have it, you need to just sign up for a course. I mean, what, what else do you want? <laughs> All right, uh, support the channel. Thank you so much. Are you enjoying this video? If you are enjoying this instructional, hey, support the channel, your cash shop, your Zelle, also your Patreon. All right, thank you. Uh, well, not your Patreon. It would be my Patreon. Huh? That's www.patreon.com slash Edward Wright. All right, um, so let's go back to, the, uh, let's start back in the D flat major seven. D flat major seven. Boom. B major seven. Hey, A major 7 and uh, G major 7 and you got it. Go back to the D flat major. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, now, again, we're just working out with our left hand. Let's do two more minutes. Let's make this a 10-minute exercise. All right, so D flat major, 1, 2, like that. All right, you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4 beats and 1, 2, B major 7, 1, 2, a major seven one two G major seven one two three four very good now this time let's hold out for six beats all right one two three four five six one two three four five move one two three four Five, A major, one, two, three, four, five, G major, seven, one, two, three, four, 
five, six. All right. Well, listen, I hope that you've enjoyed this snippet, this quick session, this quick lesson. I hope that it, uh, you know, gave you enough to, to, to start and to keep on going and going further. All right. But I am available for Zoom and uh, virtual sessions. Uh, so hit me up. All right. Um, and uh, I would love to work with you. All right. And I will see you later. Hey, continue to be amazing. Continue to be awesome. Remember, no one is holding you back but you. All right? So let's be amazing. Let's be awesome together. Hey, I'm cheering for you. I'm rooting for you. Be great. And I'll see you later. Peace.